Uh, today we're going to show you how to uh, wire up a three-way toggle switch. Um, this is out of a customer's guitar. Uh, this is with the uh, four conductor telephone cable out of a, a Les Paul and we're going to use uh, some of the nice braided wire to make a switch. So uh, check it out. Okay, so we got the four conductor wire off this guy's switch and we're going to rewire it using the braided wire. Uh, one thing before we start wiring it up, so you need to know what parts of the switch do what. There are two sides to a switch. Uh, the first side here has a pair of legs on it. That's the output, and that, when we attach a wire there, that goes to the jack. Uh, the other side has two outside legs. Those are the inputs to the switch that come from the volume controls of the guitar, and the middle leg is the ground for the switch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a small little ground wire on it, and uh, get everything going, so sit back and watch. Now I take a pair of pliers and I'll twist this wire on here like that to get it tight. So all you need to do is just get it on there like that and have a slight downward angle facing the rest of the legs like that. We'll lay our solder to it. Remember, heat the joint first, then apply the solder. And you don't need a lot, and we'll just go down the wind that I made and just solder it very gently. There we go. Now, we have three wires here. One of them is really long, and that goes from the output of the switch to the jack. We have other two more that are about the same length and those are going to go from the switch to the volume controls. So what I like to do is I'm going to do the, the output of the switch first. So we're going to take the long one and we're going to peel back our braided wire. And push back our cloth. I want a little extra sticking out. We're going to put a bend in about half of it like that. We're going to go through and thread it between the two legs there and give it kind of a bend, just like that. And we'll pinch it and wrap it over the top. So we're making contact with both of those legs. And we're just solder it to the switch. Heat the joint first and then apply our solder. Oops. And we're going to flip it over and get that other leg. our joint. It looks good. So we're going to push the cloth wire, cloth portion of the wire back down and we're going to pull our braided wire back just like that. And we'll go most of the way this, uh, use our ground wire, we'll probably go about half away. And now we're ready for the wires to go to the volume controls. So again we'll push our braided wire back push the cloth back, make like a little hook, push it in there, pull it around, pinch it a little bit, and lay the heat to it and solder. Again, pull our braid back about halfway, maybe a little longer. We want them to line up after the other one. Thank you.
back. Pull the braid back. All right. Now you see how we've lined those up. We're going to put the longer wire on the top, and we'll put the bottom pair together and make like a tr little triangle, just like that. We'll take our ground wire and wrap it around all three. Just like this. Wrap it around. And you don't have to do it super tight, but you got to make it snug. And I go around three times. This is enough. I'll just clip our extra. I use a pair of pliers to push that down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lay the solder this wind, and that'll ground the switch. So we'll heat it. And apply the solder. Flip it over, do the same thing the other side, heat it, there. Now what I'm going to do is I'll apply solder to the braid and the wind itself and that will really secure it on there. So we'll heat it. I'll just let it sit for a few seconds. There's that. I'll flip it over and do the same thing. I have this little extra solder here, so I'm just going to use that. I'll melt it and then I'll go down here. Just hold it on our wires. You don't need to go too long, maybe five seconds or so. You might have to get inventive just to get it on there, but it'll it'll get on there good enough where it'll stay. There we go. All done. Okay, we got our three-way switch made. Um, now, what I like to do is when I'm going to assemble them, I like to put pieces of masking tape on our ends so I know which wire goes to which volume pot. Well, how do you know? Well, this is how the guitar, the switch sits in the guitar with our rhythm treble ring going like that. If you were to look down at your guitar. So, when we pull the switch up, that would be in the rhythm position and going to this wire. So we will trace this wire to here and this is the switch the wire that goes from the switch to our neck or rhythm uh, volume control. So I have a small piece of masking tape that I put on there and I will mark it R for rhythm. It's that easy. And obviously the other one's treble. I label them both just in case one of the pieces of tape falls off when I'm installing it in the guitar and that way everything gets hooked up properly. So there's our T for treble. And we're ready. One thing I will do is I'll cut probably a six or seven inch piece of heat shrink tubing to put over this once we put it in the guitar and I'll wire this up to the jack. There we go.